Sorry, I'm supposed to do a before and after. Wait a minute. Hi, this is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. And now I can tell you, sorry, I was supposed to do a before and after. So you can see where she is. That's full of scrub and, you know, the archway that the, the trees are making. Yes, I'm back up on the lower, upper side of the loop. Um, I've not done this one yet, but it's not that bad. But I've done all of that. So the grass used to come up to about, there's my finger, there it is, it used to come up to about there. And that's where the slope starts, and I don't do the riding lawnmower there. <coughs> and as tall as the grass is to the right, that, it was hiding those logs. So, whew. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, the goal is to get all this clean. Now, I've still got to clear up leaves and stuff on this side. Um, like I did on the, the upper loop road. So when these leaves fall and or when it rains, everything runs to the right like it's supposed to and runs off the road before the leaves build up. You know, so the road is always maintained clear. So anyway, I've cleared that scrub. We're getting ready to go on down this way. You know, and get into that scrub down there. Um... And I'll go all the way around the loop and get rid of the scrub first, and then I'll come back in with my pruning shears and my, my pole saw so on down the line, and I'll start getting rid of the, the saplings that I don't need. You know, so I've got a nice wide path, whether I'm walking in the spring pant with Panda or coming up here with the riding lawnmower, you know, or looking to see if, if tree branches have fallen. Everything's clear and clean. So, with that, let me go on and get busy. And Miss Panda and I, we'll talk to you later. Alright, all the grass and, you know, scrub is trimmed, literally, left and right. You can see that there's like three feet on either side of the road from where the tire tracks are. Now I gotta come back and get things like this branch that's like hanging out over the road. I'll come back and get that in a second. I'll get that with the pole saw. I'm gonna finish trimming all the way around first. Um, and then, same thing, I've got little saplings here that I need to cut back. So... The long-term goal is when all this stuff leaves, there is nothing that prevents it from running down the hill the next rainstorm. That makes sense. There's nothing to catch it here, build it up, create a pond, and then have it erode the road some way I don't want it to. Having said that, it's the direction I still got left to do. You can see this is done. You know, there's nothing left. And then once you get past that rock, it's tall. All right. Getting back, getting to work. Got stuff to do. Talk to you in a few. Woo! Alrighty. So up there at the top of the hill, you can see it right there in line with the tree, is that big rock. Hey, where I stopped last time. And it was covered in grass. And you can see now it's not covered in grass. And that's all down the hill. And there's Miss Panda up here. There's Mama's girlfriend. I know you keeping all the killer squirrels away from Mama, huh? Such a good girl. Such a good baby. So yeah, but that tends to be the hardest part of the upper portion of the hill as far as the grass goes. Um, yeah, you can see I've still got it on. But you can tell that most of this is a lot of dead leaves. It's a little bit of scrub on the left. But some of the scrub I got to do with the... Um, my pruning shears or my pole saw. Um, you know, and again, most of this is just to make sure that when the when the winter comes and I have rain, it runs off the road the way it's supposed to without creating ruts, you know, or washing my road away. So, again, just winter prep. Um, the top of the hill is done. That's where the two culverts are. That keeps the water from running down the road to the house. So now this road is done. Um, I said I'll finish the loop over here and I'll get up to the portion of the driveway and I'll do another video in a minute. Yeah, that's the lower portion of my loop right there. All right, talk to you in a few. All right, so we're on the lower part of the loop that goes to my driveway, or that is my driveway, you know, very specifically to the house. And you can see that the right side is clear of grass and done and the left side is not. Um, just to make it really obvious, this is where my ravine crosses over from the wet weather waterfall. 
Um, and so here you can see where it's clear and, and open and so on down the line. And then, yeah, that's my center hump and that's the left side. Hi, Miss Banda Bear. Hi, girlfriend. Hi, babies. You're checking out mamas. I know, it's such a good girl. So, still got lots to trim on this side. Um, and what it is is today I'm just doing the road up ahead over here. Where's my finger? There it is. Up over there. That meadow is what I'm going to call it. Um, I will do at a separate time. Um, in the winter time, the coyotes like to get up there and hide in there because the, the grass gets so tall that the security light doesn't reach there. Um, so they'll come up the holler. Yeah, nothing's clean right now. Again, this is my September prep, but they'll come up the holler and see if they can entice Panda away. So one of the things I do is I keep that meadow there clear um, so I can see Panda. The security light shines, the coyotes don't like it. They stay way down there. Anyway, let me go ahead and finish the driveway today. And, um, yeah, Miss Panda and I'll talk to you later. Isn't that pretty? All trimmed back both sides. Looking awesome. All the way to the culvert there where, the, you know, water, all my wet weather waterfall water runs under the road. And then you get here. And the left side's done, and the center's done, and the right side is not done. Why? I'm out of gas. <laughs> so, I'm going to go walk back to the shed, get some gas, put some gas in it, so I can finish this. Because I'd like to get this portion here. Because this is where all my little downspouts are. Um, to look similar to, yeah, it's a lot of grass, a lot of grass, a lot of grass. Whew. To look similar to up here. This is where I started. This is where the stuff that comes off the driveway up here and off my turnaround spot tends to come off the ground this way. Does that make sense? And that was kind of my starting point. From there over, you can see I'm three foot off the road. Grass is trimmed back. I will do the rest of this when I do the meadow. Um, but that way, should we get rain before I get the meadow done and the water runs, you can see where it, it dips. Where's that? There you go. It dips right there. And about this point, it comes across. And it just drains off. And there's nothing blocking it. No leaves, no grass, no scrub. Anyway, let me go get the gas so I can make this look the same on this side. And it's kill it's crazy. It's just a little bit the sunniest spot I run out of gas. Ain't that a ain't that a yeah. Alright, Panda, you ready? Let's go get some gas. Let's get it. Alright, talk to you in a few. Alright. It's ten to twelve. Panda's sitting over there in the shade being the supervisor that she is. Mm -hmm. She's come to check on me. She's going to check and see if this is done, if it meets with her standards. <laughs> I been a good friend. I did a girl. How's mama's? I know you're checking, huh? You're checking. Is it okay? Is it all good? <laughs> Alright, so that's my little ravine where it runs off down that way. And there it is. Roughly three feet. Off the side of the road, all the way down to the gas can. Whew, everything's clear. <laughs> and I might have rain, I don't know. Maybe not. There's enough blue sky, it might just go around me. But usually, I'm done just in time. So anyway, I gotta go get the gas can. Put it away. Uh, put, the, put the string trimmer away. You know, job's not over till the tools are put away. And then I think I'll turn the hose on and let Panda play in the hose for a minute. Um, she loves to play in the hose, and I like the fact that I give her a chigger bath before she comes into the house. It's just an awesome thing. Um, and likewise, I'll probably uh, rinse off my legs. A little pieces of grass all over them. Rinse off, you know, before I go into the house. Whew, take a shower, have some lunch. And then we'll see what we're doing. I might do nothing for the rest of the day. Um, it's probably what's going to be. Um, and then tomorrow. Tomorrow is the, you know, should there not be an insane amount of rain. Um, tomorrow I will get my pruning shears and my, my tree branch cutters and my, my pole saw and just all this other stuff. And um, I will attach my cart to the riding lawnmower and I will drive the loop with the riding lawnmower and things like this ash tree. I will prune it down at ground level again. 
because this is not where I want a tree. I don't want a tree this close to the road. I don't want the branches hanging on the road. I like the fact that, you know, my driveway is wide. But if for some reason we have some torrential downpour and it creates a ravine, I can drive to the left or right of it. You know, not that I worry about that with the Jeep, but that's how it should be. Um, so that'll be tomorrow's job with the do the loop. And then that's probably how I'm going to do the rest of the three quarter of a mile driveway that I have. Um, is, you know, spend one day and go and trim so far, you know, left side on the way down, right side on the way back. And, um, you know, then the following time go down and prune. Prune hedge, head prune, prune head, pr hedge prune, um, and then, you know, trim. And that way it just, by the time I reach the mailbox, everything's done left and right side. Um, some areas are going to be busier than others. Um, I'll show it to you when I get there. My low water crossing closest to my house um, had a pine tree come down. It was a dead pine tree, very similar to the one in the back center of my property. Um, but I got to get it out of there. Um, by the time we get into a lot of rain, it's going to end up blocking the culvert. Um, and it's a, the culvert's already too small for the road. That's why it's a low water crossing. But when it's a little rain, the culvert works. When it's a lot of rain, the culvert is working hard, and I still get water over the road. So I don't need a half rotten pine tree there. You know, just the wrong place for it. So some places like that will just be an entire day where I'm doing nothing but cleaning out the culvert. So, having said that, I'm going to go get this gas can because I'm hot, and I will talk at you later.